Welcome to the Brant and Sherry Oddcast, sponsored by America's Christian Credit Union. To order Brant's latest book, Life is Hard, God is Good, Let's Dance, or to find out more about the show, go to BrantHanson.com. I want to issue a bit of an apology. I announced at the beginning of the year that I would make it a point, it was like a New Year's resolution, to use my jingle more. Oh, I don't even remember. Was that a personal resolution within yourself? I think No, I think I said it out loud. I, and, I but, don't recall the okay. declaration, but it doesn't, doesn't I mean, it, maybe I did it when you were here. Anyway, um, yes. I haven't done that. Okay. I haven't used it very much, so I'm going to no. use it more. This is the jingle, by the way. I, we don't, I, I haven't, it costs a lot to hire singers. It does, yes. It, but it goes like this, so oh, okay. hang on a second. This is the Brand Hansen Show. Yeah. I did the yes, yes, really. yeah. but that's how yeah, it, it's punctuation. Right. So do, do you think that maybe we should wait until we can perhaps raise some funds and get some uh, financing for voices to sing? Not that you weren't great, but it goes like this. Okay, you're going to go ahead. And <laughs> this is the Brian Hansen Show. <laughs> yeah. I had the yeah. The yeah is new. So question, does it help to vent when you're angry? You know, just to get rid of the anger, to just vent, let it all out. Here's an article in a scientific magazine that says it does no good whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And there's never, the quote was, actually, there's never been a single study that suggested it ever helped. Right. <laughs> it doesn't help. Venting anger might seem like a good idea, but there's not a shred of scientific evidence to support catharsis theory. This according to these scientists. They, they had put together 154 studies on anger. Mm. None of them said that venting helps. I just find that... Fascinating. The other thing is in this article, when they talk about how to handle anger, like, what do we do? They said even exercise doesn't necessarily help. Mm -hmm. But they don't, again, they don't mention. They don't say the actual thing, which is. The forgiveness word. They just, they just don't go there. Human nature, man. Human nature. I saw this article. Ford is thinking about putting in a thing that alerts the authorities Mm -hmm. if you're speeding. Oh. Oh. And I was like. I'm not buying that. Right. Like, why would I want a car that rats me out? <laughs> right. Well, maybe author- you buy it for pay, your kid or something. Extra. Yeah. Well, actually, it's not for you. It actually identifies other people speeding. It picks up on everybody else. Then on the road. everybody's getting now that. We car. All, yeah. <laughs> now we all. Yeah. Now we all want it. Like, for at first, I'm like, no. It, oh, it reports to everybody else. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is so interesting. Uh, a high school that shut down the cell phones. Like, absolutely no cell phones. You can't use them said that the reaction from students, they expected pushback. What they got was relief. Mm. This is East Jackson High School in Michigan. The kids are much happier. Engagement, they said, is way up. You can't bring it at all. Well, I guess or, you can't have it in the classrooms okay. or something. Uh, ban cell phones in class. Yeah. yeah. Stu- engagement is up and drama is down exponentially, mm. says the principal. This just seems like such a common sense thing. I think, I think it's going to be normal again to ban this yeah the study said venting doesn't help at all we kind of knew that i could hear people saying because i would be one of them yeah. uh in the past to say okay well i guess i'll just hold it all inside yeah my sister's hold the just, anger inside i right. won't say anything to anybody and right. i'll just explode from it now as somebody who's a jesus follower is paying mm-hmm. attention i'm like wait that's a false dichotomy right the idea that i either just bottle it up mm-hmm. or i vent or i just get to fly like off a, the handle i'm a steam engine or something <laughs> or what like that's not how this works. You don't bo- you don't you don't bottle it up. You forgive the person because you didn't deserve forgiveness. You extend it to somebody else, and that's the basis for it. That's the like the, I think it's the only thing that works. Again, it's not saying what they did is okay. It doesn't make it okay. It doesn't mean you have to be in relationship with them again. It doesn't like, but it's you surrendering your right to anger out of gratitude. That's going to be the basis for for living that way. You know what they're saying is like the big new miracle food out there? What? Baby carrots. Okay. What miracle is it It has been shown. This is from Warming. Mary Harper Simmons, who's a master of science in nutrition <laughs> at Samford okay. University. All right. Presenting author of a talk entitled Effect of a Four-Week Intervention Using Baby Carrots or Multivitamin Supplements on Skin Carotenoid Scores in Young Adults. <laughs> At the Nutrition 2024 Conference. Anyway, it it's supposed out. to help with, with inflammation. Okay. Big time. 
the carotenoids or however you say Carotenoids, sure. Then carrots are loaded with an those. An inflamed carotenoid is not what you want in this life. So if a baby carrot helps it, can't so can't inflame be it. a carotenoid. <laughs> the carotenoids in the carrots. Oh, and that's what helps the inflammation. Right. I'm so sorry, Brant. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> My family was watching the Olympics, wrote Kent, and they showed Bobby Flay in the audience. My 11-year-old son, Jack, said, wait, Dad, is that the guy from the Brant and Sherry show? Really? Bobby Flay. I didn't know what he looked like. No, he doesn't. You don't look like him at Thanks. all, I don't think. Thanks. No. I looked him up. I was like, fine. He's, um, red. He's a redhead, isn't he? I yeah. couldn't tell. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but when Bobby Flay came up and I searched him, there's like searches, searches I'll also look for these people. Uh -huh. Rachel Ray was yeah. next. Yes, that's right. He's cooking. Yeah. So then it's like, I'm curious. I don't know if I don't, you would know, but mm -hmm. are there any rappers that have, I mean, it's like Bobby Flay and Rachel, it seemed like obvious. Is oh. Any rappers oh. that have like rapped about. About the Bobby Flay, Flay Rachel, Rachel Ray. Just, Ray. Like, just because it rhymes. Yeah. It just opens itself up to the hip-hop like, genre. Well, if they have a rap about cooking or meal prep, then... As far as I know, those two okay. have not been connected in any type of hip-hop song, but... That's, that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> hey, the link works now. It's brandhanson.com slash ACCU. It's America's Christian Credit Union. And right now, if you want to join, you can find out how, but you can get like a $500 bonus. Oh, wow. Really? Yes. Okay. Kind of awesome. Yeah. And I have found, like, for savings, it mm -hmm. just does well above what I was getting before. So okay. I'm, I'm excited about it. But they do. It's it's banking. And it's it's brilliant because we're pooling our money together. And it also pays for things like funds adoptions and mm -hmm. pays for missions and stuff that are really beautiful. So I like this way of doing it. It's uh, brandhanson.com slash ACCU if you want to join. Thankful to have sponsors for the podcast. It helps a lot. One is a movie now. It's the Forge movie. It comes out August 23rd. This is kind of a continuation of the War Room, if yeah, you saw that movie. Yeah, that's what I heard. It's a lot of same actors. What I like about it is the, the themes, which is discipleship and like helping young guys. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, not a lot of movies about that, so I appreciate them tackling that. It comes out again August 23rd exclusively in theaters. You can go to theforgemovie.com if you want more info. It seems like there's this false dichotomy going on uh -huh. between like not recognizing that there is a culture battle going on. Right. And it doesn't really matter. Right. Like, or going off. Mm -hmm. Like, those are our options. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But those aren't, like, that's, <laughs> again, that misses it. Yeah. I think it's naive to act like what we think about when we think about what human beings are for, mm -hmm. what the good life is, like, and we, like, how we orient that stuff in public it just like doesn't matter mm -mm. it does You're right and it affects people mm -hmm. yeah. mostly vulnerable people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on a number of levels but I, th I like what peter lightheart wrote here on a uh, twitter so i screenshotted it he's like you may be in a culture war and and he's not he says that we are he's, okay. a, he's a catholic intellectual guy mm -hmm. but he says but we need to be wary of the rhetoric of war mm. the war we are in quote unquote he uses quotes can tempt us to neglect or renounce the spiritual fruit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, self-control. We don't lay these aside in the midst of battle because they're the weapons of our warfare. Mm. So if, wow, you, that's if, good. if you want to take a stand, I, I get it, mm -hmm. quote unquote, take a stand. Yeah. Uh, but when you speak... Love, joy, peace have right. to be part of that. Right. The back and forth. There's a there's a, the churchy back and forths I see among believers. What do you mean about evangelicalism? Mm -hmm. Like there's this there's this Christian Twitter. It's one of the ugliest things I've ever seen. Mm. And some people are right when they say stuff, but they, they say it the most ugly way. Yeah. There's no charity whatsoever for their brothers and sisters at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could still take a pointed. Yes. You could still make a point in a pointed right. way that's still born out of there's this charity right it doesn't soften the truth it just it just you, you come at it from a different point of view right so i don't know is that what you were kind of getting at yeah or? i i think i was just the, the the thing of taking a stand that i hear so many people it's not even um it, it's it's almost impugning someone who doesn't say oh they do something. impugn it yeah, yeah. so like, if, if something has happened and I don't. Yeah, you have to say. Yeah, you have to quote unquote take a stand. And so my question was, or the thought process that I'm following is, what is taking a stand 
if there were no social media. Yeah, right. We, we talked about that. Yeah. So yes, I love that. If there's no social media, if what you can't get like? on Facebook, if you can't get on X, if you can't get yeah. on Instagram, whatever, then what is taking a stand? Because if you can answer that, which I think will be difficult, but if you can answer that, then that's probably the better yeah. way. You know what I mean? But I don't think if you're just telling me because I didn't type 140 characters, no, that's so, I don't care about something. That's so short sighted. It, it is, and but it's, like, a lot it's also of, out of pure ignorance. Like I, I was accused of something recently and I'm like, oh, my goodness, mm -hmm. that's laughable. Right. Like my wife would get a kick out. Of it. You would get a kick out mm -hmm. of it. Like that's the absolute opposite of how I operate. Right, right. But because they don't see me publicly judging people like they do right right i would like happily go, okay well let's uh, and paul did this kind of thing right. in the bible where he's like yeah. okay all right we're gonna do this mm -hmm. all right well let me tell you what i've done yeah and i there is that desire to go there okay is, let's yes. open our bank accounts let's, yeah. uh, let's compare right you, you're a big talker what are you doing right and I'll, we'll see yeah i'll open mine yeah but that's that and then you would say this is all a big pile of garbage right. but if we're gonna do it this way yeah it's on yeah no i i fight that too because it's like well you don't care or you're uh what i really lord help me is that you're so uninformed oh right right, right as right. if you are just so bright and so intellectually superior to everything and everyone that the fact that i've decided not to speak which the bible tells me to be slow to speak right right it's the same thing social media right that's speaking that's your voice so if I'm slow to speak or I'm not going to speak to imply then that I don't care no, or I'm not taking a stand, false. then my question again is, what is taking a stand? Yeah, right. if, if we re remove what Mark Zuckerberg gave to us and all the other ones, if we take that out of the equation, then how you're doing? That's how, why I talked doing? about the bank account. Yeah. So like for the other the decisions I can point back to. Yeah. Go, well, what about this? You ever do something like that? Yeah. You ever do this? Yeah. And you can see why Paul would do that. Right. And he's literally saying, this is all a big pile of poop. Yeah. But if we're going to do this, I win. Yeah. <laughs> if it's going to be a win. That's what I mean. So I think that, it, you know, if you're listening and you struggle with that, um, that inclination, like everyone is saying something, do I need to say something? Because people really do struggle with that. Like, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, here's my take on this. or here. I would simply say what I have had, what I've done. I have done this because I used to get out there and this and that and this and that. And I have a platform that people may care what I said, but I used, I started realizing what is the point of this, of saying something about every single thing that happened? You know what, you know what principle that violates too? What? That the idea, like if it's coming from a Christian perspective or a mm -hmm. Jesus follower perspective, we're all members of a body. We don't all do the same thing. Great point. Great point. Like, I'm, in one case, one person judged me for not being as judgmental as they are. Mm -hmm. This is so so normal on social media, honestly. Right, it's right, just right. So that's just, but I was actually rooting this person on. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't using my Twitter account the exact same. Yeah, right. I was like, well, that's your, there's a billion things to, right. to put on your helmet and go out there and, <laughs> and you're, you're doing yeah. it on that issue. And I think you're right on that issue. Yeah, yeah. But I don't have I don't to. Have, there's a, and by the way, I have 74 other people telling me it's different issues yes. that I need to be going out that, and battling. That is my point. So right. I, I but do, we have different parts of the body. That is a great point. I do everything. I love that point. Good That's, grief. That, that fleshes that out a little more for me, too, because I've been trying to think through that, specifically for the people who are like, I don't want to do that. Now, some people do. But if you don't, then I would I would encourage you to think, what does taking a stand look like if I didn't have all of these tools at my disposal? And then if I don't have whatever that is, do that. If that means I'm going to go volunteer somewhere, if that means I'm going to be a mentor to a kid, if that means whatever that means, other than social media, well, how right. you're going to take a stand. But you've pinpointed again, mm -hmm. resources. Like yeah. How am I sacrificing my resources? What yeah. resources am I actually giving up? In fact, usually on social media, you're gaining credit. Mm. Yeah. With that, your crowd, right. your in group, and they'll cheer you on and retweet you, and then you. Like, That's what them. I started realizing is that okay, so I'm e I'm just talking to an echo chamber here because people are like, "Yay, Sherry!" Which are, they're inclined to say, "Yay, Sherry." That's why we call them followers or friends. So I'm not getting in the middle of 
you know, a, a, no. a, a bunch of people who don't believe who aren't. Th- so that's what I mean, taking a stand. These are right. 3,000 on my personal page. These are 3,000 of people who are inclined to follow me. Yeah. So maybe there's two or three that will backlash against me. Great. Okay, I guess I took a stand in front of them. But you're not. Re- I'm not really doing much but monopolizing my whole day going back and forth, right? So skip that. What does taking a stand, an actual stand for the gospel, for, you know, apologetics, if you will, if, oh, I don't like what they did, that was something culturally that yeah. was that made me feel offended as a believer. What does taking a stand actually look like outside of social media? And then pursue that. And so I, I think whatever that may be, may be more effective than <laughs> tweeting. And I don't want to say, again, you brought a fantastic point, which is great. That's some people, that's, that's your arena. You're good at that, right? You're on Yeah, you want to do that. You're on that's X you're, and you're, you're mixing got, it up. And, I would say you kind of have some blinkers on about other issues. Yeah, yeah. And I'm that's okay. Yeah. You don't have to like, but you, you can't require everybody else. That's right. It's like we're different parts of the body. Yeah. I should get after my mom. What are you doing on? You're not even on, on Twitter. You should speak the truth. Get out here. What are you doing? Well, she's like, well, I'm trying to do this puppet ministry with yeah, with all these people, people that I'm encouraging and mentoring. Sweet people, you know. We, no, we need you to get no. out. No. <laughs> <laughs> give on, me the, give me those on, puppets. Come on, Bev. Come on, Linda. Mix Rip it up. those puppets out of your hands. <laughs> no. No. What was the oh, what was the last thing I was thinking on that? Um, yeah. Oh, oh the, here's the other thing about being slow to speak. Mm-hmm. Again, it's it's a genius thing. We know we have all these different cognitive biases. Well, yeah. one of them comes with saying something out loud. Mm-hmm. If I hear myself say something out loud, I will double down on it. I can think it and not say it, and then I won't have to double down on it. Mm-hmm. They've done these studies where they're predictive studies. You've got people um, predicting something that's going to happen mm-hmm. with their, their red and black chips they were using. It's, I don't want to get into the mechanics of right. it. But they had some people write down what they thought, whether it was red or black was the final answer. Mm -hmm. And then they had other people say it out loud. Mm. And they found that as the experiment went on, where it became obvious that it's going to be black or it's Mm going to be red, the people who said their thing out loud were less likely to move off it, Mm -hmm. even in the the face of evidence. Of it being wrong. Right. Yeah. They ne- like I could see it. Now I'm probably two thirds wrong, three fourths wrong, but I'm, mm-hmm. I'm staying with red. Why? I said it out loud. The people who wrote it down secretly yeah. were they were able to flip. Yeah. So there's power in what you say mm. that can make you a fool. Wow, that's because good. you said it. <laughs> yeah. So being slow to speak. Yeah. Is a, a way to to hang on to wisdom mm-hmm. so that you don't hear yourself saying something. Then you have to double, triple, quadruple down on something dumb. Just like the, I mean, the, the obvious example, mm-hmm. but it's, there's tons of the, the Olympic ceremony yeah. things we talked yeah. about. The people who are like, oh, that's not even on this last supper. Mm-hmm. Well, it turns out it was. Right. Cause they said it was. But how many people went back and went, oh, whoops. Right. I put you down or I said like all these experts. Somebody yeah. wrote about this yesterday in, in compact magazine, but they're talking about the, the treason of experts mm-hmm. where it's like they come in and go, actually, that's not even what you think. Right. Okay, but it was. Yeah. Are you going to come back and say, "Oh, okay, well, right. actually, it wasn't what I thought." <laughs> <laughs> of course, they're not. Like, but there's there's so much power. There is. You have to now defend it against reality. You have right. to defend your thing against what we all know is reality. So give some freedom to your future yeah. self and and not speak now, and and then you don't have the the pressure of doubling down on it later. When you, when you do speak, mm-hmm. don't say it in a way that is against the fundamental fruit mm-hmm. that we're supposed to be manifesting. Yeah. The love, joy, peace. Joy. I asked someone asked me that we were at an event and um you know they were texting in questions or whatever and someone asked me about being someone who is extroverted who is you know um all the things that i am i think they use the word sassy which i don't know that i see myself that way that's fine um and i said you know i used the line that you use which is god makes us more us our personality i said but not to the sacrificing of the fruit of the spirit. Yeah. So I don't get to say, well, I'm just a person who speaks my mind or I'm just a person who lets people know exactly what, what's right. that. I tell them and that, right. that. I don't get to be that uh, outside of the fruit of the spirit, but I do get to be it within the fruit of the spirit. So the person I'm becoming, Maximally. as we've been talking, right. Yeah. I get to be that with love. Yeah. I get to be that with joy. I get to be that within the context of patience and being a person in the spirit of the fruit of the spirit. Then I become more me 
through Christ. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. And I think that 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 we do ourselves a disservice when we just have to speak out on every issue. And unfortunately, we have all these platforms that we feel like demand our attention, our opinion. Uh, but I, I, I want to say that we don't have to. And I've done less of it. And I feel like I'm better for it. Yeah. The Brant and Sherry Oddcast, sponsored by America's Christian Credit Union. To find out more about the show, go to BrantHanson.com.